The eraser tool in Photoshop is basically a brush that erases or removes pixels as you drag. So you can see whenever I click down, it just removes the pixels. If we zoom in, you can see it actually removes them. Now this is different than if we had a mask on here and I was brushing on the mask. This is different than that because if I were to disable the mask, the pixels are still in the image. It's not destructively removing them, right? It's still in the actual image and I'm just removing parts of a mask. Now we got some options up here at the top. On the first one, we got our presets where if you set these settings however you like and then you can save a preset of that after that we got the brush preset picker then this toggles the brush settings panel or you can just click on the panel itself to open it up next we got our erasing mode and this is going to be between brush pencil and black brush uses a brush tip right pencil and black is just a square if i were you i'd just stick with brush because then you can change the opacity i'm just going to show you the difference this is a hundred percent this is 50 and this is one so that's the opacity then we got the pressure for opacity, and this is if you're using a pen tablet. So with this on, the lighter I press with the pen, the smaller it is, and if I gradually press harder, it changes the opacity and the size. Okay, after that we got flow, and this is just the flow rate of the stroke. This is 100. This is 50, and this is 1. The more flow, the stronger the eraser is. After that is the enable airbrush style buildup effects. You can toggle this on or off. Then after that, we got smoothing. And just a quick tutorial on what smoothing is. Let's just turn it up to 100. You can see it kind of like lags behind a little bit but it's a lot smoother All right then if i were to bring it down to zero it's harder to get those smooth edges All right when i use it i usually keep it around 25 percent 15 25 something like that then it's just a little easier to control it just reduces the shakiness of the stroke so if you got a real shaky hand, you definitely want to turn the smoothing up. After that, we got some other smoothing options. Pulled string mode. You're going to use this when sharp corners are desired. This kind of lags behind, and then when you get to a corner, you stop. And then you drag the angle where you want the corner, and it makes pretty sharp corners, right? Then we got stroke catch up. This enables the paint to catch up when the brush cursor movement is paused. So if I make a quick line, you can see it kind of catches up to the end of it. All right? Then we got catch up on stroke end. And this just enables autocomplete for brush strokes. So if I make a stroke and then I let go, it catches up when I let go. See if I'm still holding down, and then when I let go, it finishes it off. And then adjust for zoom. It automatically adjusts smoothing amount to avoid jitter. Uh, I usually just keep stroke catch up on. And that's about it. After that, we got the brush angle. You can set it here or in the brush preset picker. Erase to history. This lets you erase areas from a certain history state. 
So if you turn that on, you can come to your history panel and select the state and then erase pixels from that state. Next is pen pressure for size. This is pretty much the same as opacity, where it's the harder you press, the bigger the size. The lighter you press, the smaller. After that, we got symmetry. I'm not going to go over every single symmetry option, but you'll get the idea when I go over a couple of them. You got this line. You set this. You can click done. And then whatever you erase on this side, you're going to erase on that side. Okay. And all these other ones, you can see the little picture. That's where the blue line's going to be. So if we had dual axis, it'd be on each corner. If we had circle, it'd be in the circle and out of it. Radial and Mandala, these things are awesome. You can set the segment count. Click OK, click Done. Then you can just draw. Make all types of cool designs. You can come here, come down. There's a lot of things you can do with symmetry. It's got all these options on the regular brush, but you got to remember this is the eraser. We're actually erasing pixels. It's not drawing a stroke, right? You can even see down here when we look at the layer thumbnail, you can see behind it, it shows the alpha background because we're erasing things. So that's the eraser tool in Photoshop. If you guys got any questions or comments, Make sure to put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.